Hey, what's up guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna take you on a trip with me man i'm gonna go see my boxing coach we're gonna put in a 30 minute session before i hit the regular gym and we're gonna work on footwork footwork that was made famous by muhammad ali but before we get into that i need you guys to go ahead and subscribe and when you subscribe just leave a comment that i subscribed in the comment section and I really do appreciate it. So let's get ready to get these gains. Let's get it. Alright guys, so I'm on my way to um, go train with my boxing coach and I'm going to take you guys along with me today just so you guys can see, you know, exactly what we do and um, get an idea of, you know, how boxing really is from the perspective of being trained by a professional. So, you know, my, my coach is a professional boxer and um, he started training me I would say uh, shortly after the pandemic started so this was back in I would say probably March of uh, 2020 so I've been training with him for twice a week for almost a year now and I've picked up a couple of things along the way which is good and obviously I try to you know put in work as well by myself um, the good thing about boxing is you know you're gonna develop a lot of uh, stamina you're gonna get stronger because you work a lot on like your explosive muscles you're gonna definitely see an increase in your bone density and the strength of like your ankles your wrist um, you're gonna develop a lot of calf muscles too but more importantly you're gonna burn fat now there's some you know some coaches will have you in like some type of makeshift boxing class with dancing and all this prancing around and just punching the heavy bag all wild and crazy and that stuff does make you lose weight i'm not knocking it you know what i'm saying but you can also lose weight by training with a professional boxing coach and going through all the boxing drills similar to the drills that i did in my last video as well as hitting the bag but practicing the fundamentals of boxing meaning that you're gonna box but you're going to practice defense, you're going to practice moving and, you know, all the things that you would normally do in a professional fight. So what I'm trying to say to you is instead of doing like one of those crazy, you know, classes where you prance around and hit a bag and dance and all of that to lose weight, it's all fun and games. You can actually get with a real boxing coach and you could still lose weight and develop muscles and develop strength. But you also learn the fundamentals of boxing and you learn how to defend yourself in the, the process of burning fat and losing weight. All right. So I'm going to take you guys on a ride with me today. I don't have anyone to um, videotape. So it's just going to be me probably putting the phone on a tripod and um, I'll introduce you guys to my coach. You guys will love him, man. He's awesome. He's very energetic and this guy knows his stuff so let's get to it today what we're going to work on is footwork in the ring and we're going to do some bag work first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our lateral glide pretty much working off what i done took over the years and a few of us trainers you know looking at ali everybody thought ali was using that footwork to be fancy but actually his footwork was used to be evasive to be elusive he was light on his feet so if you take what you watched Ali done over the years, you can actually take it and use it for yourself as a boxer in the ring. And it does work. As a boxer, you should box with your feet, not your hands. Box with your feet. Use, use your feet for your defense. Use your, that's what you use it for. Footwork, footwork wins the fight. That's what's up. Okay? Don't, don't worry about punching. Punch is, punch is coming. It's going to come regardless. But you having good footwork moving around your opponent, creating different angles every time. That's what wins the fight. So what we're going to do right now is pretty much just go in the ring, 
We're gonna do a couple little ring drills. We're gonna do some pivoting, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, that's it, guys. That's my coach. I'll put his Instagram down below so you can follow him. This guy is awesome, man. All right. First thing we're going to do is what we call the lateral glide. It's pretty much moving around the ring. Moving around the ring. Knees bend a little bit. Switch the reps. That's the lateral glide. You go and follow up. Your opponent is here. You want to always stay facing your opponent. Square up a little bit more. Boom. Shuffle around. Boom. Switch, switch, boom, switch, back. Okay, continue. Be light on your feet, on your toes, on the ball of your feet, on the ball of your feet. Don't be flat. On the ball of your feet. And breathe. And breathe. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Always remember to breathe. Always remember to breathe. One more minute. One more minute. Hands up. Just keep them up. Keep your hands up. Just always keep your hands covering them cheeks. Covering them temples. High guard. Keep going. Keep going. Stay on, the, stay on the ball. Stay on the balls of the feet. Stay on the feet. Stay on the balls of the feet. Keep going. 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 Side to side movements. Working on your hips, okay? It's definitely an exercise that will affect you in the hips. <laughs> it will have the hips burning. But as boxes, you must move around the ring. 
Hips is very important. When we pivot, boom, boom. Boom. Hips all the time. Or if you're big like me, it gets your gas it's real quick. Like, big like, big like, <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm gonna get it done. Gotta lean out, gotta lean out a little bit. It's all good. All right. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Ollie back pedal. Ollie back pedal. Nice, nice and soft. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. See that? I'm nice and soft. Boom, baby, boom, boom. Nice and soft. Nice and soft. Wow. That's what's up. Nice and soft. I always see him doing that. Nice yeah, and I soft. I always like admire how he does it. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. Now, like I said, I'm teaching you all these things one by one. Right. Another week or so, when I say, okay, let's do the Ollie workout, you'll be able to do this. You'll be able to switch. They don't know the sh shuffle. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. He's famous for that. Famous for that. You were able to do it too. It's not just something fancy that he did. Yeah, yeah. When he did this, you didn't know which angle he was going to be on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Yeah, so you didn't know whether to go. You didn't know if he was going to left or right. You didn't know if he was going to go this way or this way. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to remember, you can do this or you can do this. Boom. Okay? One thing that Ali didn't have is he didn't have the most traditional way of holding his feet. Yeah. He moved a lot. Yeah. He moved a lot. <laughs> Move the lock. Yeah. Oh, like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. See, you got this different styles. Not too many people fight like Mike Tyson. Yeah. Not too many people fight like Ali. Yeah. Not too many people fight like Big George neither. Yeah, with the cross guard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? The only one that sometimes tried it might have been Holyfield. Yeah. Every now and then, he'll close up top here. Okay? So. Let's work on that. All right. Nice and soft. There you go. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. On the balls of the feet. Hands up. Keep your hands up. Always train. Always keep the hands up. Nice and soft. There you go. Nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Nice and soft. Switch. Turn around. Yep. So what you do, when you do that, right? Come in when I say switch. Pivot foot, boom. Yeah. So for you, so for you left, we go here, right? Yeah. Go here, let me say, shit, boom, pivot, right? Boom, boom, pivot, boom. Okay? Nice and slow. And it gotta be perfect. It gotta be perfect, switch, boom. Go back. So right now what we're about to do is we're going to do about two bag drills. The first drill, two, two to three minute drill, but with Wolf I'm going to do a two minute drill. 30 seconds hard, pop, pop, hard shots, pow, pow, I mean hard, continuous hard shots, boom, 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 boom. The next 30 seconds, nice soft shots, continuous soft shots. Just to keep lactate acid build up in them shoulders, okay? So we're going to do that, we're going to do that's going to be the first one, we're going to do that twice. So we're gonna do a two-minute drill. What I want you on the bag, well, I'm mean, in the back. Boom. I don't need you on the back here. Boom, 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 bo
So that's pretty much it for the gym. Um, now I'm actually at my actual gym and I'm just wailing on the short heavy bag, trying to practice, you know, making my jab real sharp, working on my jab, my one twos, a couple of combos, and um, actually threw in a little bit of the um, Ali back pedal. All right, so this is just part one of the video for part two. We're pretty much going to show you guys how to change direction like Ali did as well as you know circling his opponent with his back pedaling and then periodically throwing in the jab. Alright so thank you so much for watching this guys. I really hope you found the information useful. Don't forget to like and share the video and again please subscribe. Have a great day.